In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a pop-out photo effect in Photoshop. Hey everyone, my name is Justin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a really easy trick to create a pop-out photo effect in Photoshop. Now this effect really depends on having a photo where something is in perspective, so it's going to depend on the photo for it to be able to work. But something like I have here where there's something in the foreground and something in the background uh, is a perfect example of what will work. So have your photo open and the first thing you want to do is head over to the custom rectangle shape tool. So go ahead and find the rectangle shape tool and what you want to do is make sure you're working on shape mode and the fill color you can just keep it at black so it's easy to see and no stroke and just create a rectangle that's about a third of the image but make sure you leave a little bit of space on the edges so something like that. Uh, next, what you want to do is just Command J to duplicate it, and you're just going to duplicate it three times. So you're going to fill up the entire image. Now, as you can see, my rectangles were a little too wide. So what I'll do is I'll just hold Shift, select all the rectangles, and merge them because we're going to have to do that anyway. And then I'll push Command T to transform them, and I'll just shrink them down to size. So I'll shrink them down like this and then I'll just stretch them back up. So you don't have to worry if you don't eyeball it too good. You can always just transform them after. So now we have three uh, rectangle blocks and what I want to do is put my image on top of them. So first let's create a new fill layer and this will be our new background. So we'll go to layer, new fill layer solid color. Now I guess you could make it any color you want but the effect looks most realistic when you make it white. So I'll make it white and now I'll drag my photo on top of everything. So now we want to place our photo within the rectangle so we could do that by creating a clipping mask. So I'll use this shortcut Option Command G and you can see this little arrow pops up and that means this layer is only showing up onto our shapes now. Uh, you could also go to layer, create clipping mask. So now we want to make the hand pop out so it looks like it's out of the frame and everything else is in the background. So what we can do is just have our photo layer selected and you don't even have to use too complicated of a selection tool. Really, most of the time, you could just use the polygonal lasso tool. So we want to find all the areas where the part of the object is getting cut off by these white lines. So right here, I'll connect the gap. Right here, I'll connect the gap. I'll connect the thumb there. And the bottom of the thumb and then the arm here. Now watch, uh, be careful on the bottom, you want to make sure it's a straight line, so I'll hold shift to make it a straight line, and I'll connect the entire bottom there, and then lastly, just this little piece of the arm. Now again, if you wanted to get a little bit more fancy, like as you can see, some of the hairs on the arm, I can go to Refine Edge and I can use my brush here to kind of brush in some of that uh, detail. But really it's, it's pretty hard to mess up such a small selection. So go ahead and click OK. You don't even have to do any of that. And now you want to go to right click, Layer via Copy. So what that will do is create a new layer with the selection on top of everything else but it won't be clipped onto the shape so now it looks like the hand is popping out onto the image so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a kind of illusion of a pop out in photoshop if you guys did enjoy this tutorial make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos and if you had any questions or comments feel free to leave them below and i'll help you out as best as i can so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time